in the previous lesson we looked at a y y network okay we had a y source and we had a y load okay or we had a star source and we had a star load and we analyzed that network thoroughly now we are going to look at a delta connection or in other words in this particular scenario we are going to look at a delta delta connection okay i have a delta source over here these are my coils which are generating emf and this is my load which is connected in a delta network okay i am assuming that i have balanced loads so this is z angle phi this is z angle phi this is z angle phi okay these are my transmission lines okay and my load is connected by simply joining this to my transmission lines okay now i have a delta delta connection which i would like to analyze for line and phase quantities okay what is your line voltage your line voltage is voltage across your transmission lines okay so it is this voltage which is same as the voltage between this point and this point okay so essentially your line voltage is the voltage in your coil okay let's just say my coil voltage is vm angle 0 my coil voltage in this particular coil is vm angle minus 120 and in this particular coil it is vm angle minus 240 okay so my line voltage v ab is vm angle 0 okay what is your line voltage v bc your line voltage v bc is simply voltage across this point and across this point which is this voltage okay and what is your line voltage v c a it is the voltage across this point and this point which is the voltage generated in this coil okay so i have got my line voltages now let's look at what is phase voltage okay your phase voltage is voltage across this element okay voltage across this element is simply voltage across this point and this point right which is same as voltage across this point and this point which is same as this voltage okay so in a delta connection your line voltage is same as your phase voltage okay so basically i can write that my vab is equal to vm angle 0 my vbc is equal to vm angle minus 120 my vbc is between this point and between this point okay so it is vm angle minus 120 and my vca is between this point which is my point c which is this guy and between this point which is this point okay so it is vm angle minus 240 okay so vca is equal to vm angle minus 240 i have my line and phase quantities in terms of voltage right now and they are all equal okay now let's look at my current quantities okay let's just say this is my line current i a a this is my line current i b b this is my line current i c c okay we are going to assume that my phase current which is the current flowing in this particular element is let's say i this is terminal a this is terminal b so i am going to call this as i a b okay current flowing in this particular element or this particular load is going to be i b and this is what this is c so i am going to call this as i b c and this guy i am going to call as i c a okay this is your c and this is your a 